Good evening and hello. My name is Ruchika Mehta and I'm the editor of the magazine, Hello Magazine. Sure. Thank you all for being here this evening. We are celebrating Fathers of Innovation with Glenn Fiddick. They celebrate innovators and achievers, successful people like you this evening who've kind of innovated themselves to be where they are. Honored to be in such esteemed a company tonight and an absolute pleasure to connect with Bangalore. I'm now going to introduce a dear friend, Angad Singh Gandhi out here, who is also, he was the brand ambassador for Glenfiddich India and has so much more to share about with us about the brand, about the history, about his experiences. Over to you, Angad. Thank you so much for joining in a founder, William Grant. Yeah. Uh, is the one who we are celebrating today. Whether it be the uh, unusual gin uh, of Roman epithecomy like Hendrix, or whether it be the most handcrafted whiskey like Balvini, or whether it be the made-to-mix blended malt uh, monkey shoulder, same name behind all of them, William Grant. And William Grant and his wife Elizabeth Grant back in 1887 started the Glen Fredick Distillery. Uh, William and Elizabeth together had nine kids, seven sons and two daughters. So William told uh, his nine kids that, okay, guys, in 1886, we, we, they bought some land and they were like, guys, quit whatever you're doing. We will make whiskey. And uh, the kids are super excited. They all jumped in. Uh, in 2022, today, we are world's highest selling single malt whiskey and also the world's most awarded single malt whiskey. Now, how did that happen? It was only in 1960 where first time this category was introduced. So still 1960, world was mostly consuming blended malts and cognacs. In 1962, a guy called Sandy Gordon, who was the great grandson of William, sat on a plane, went to New York, to the Wall Street, and started the category of single malt whiskey. And the very first single malt whiskey ever to be taken outside of Scotland is the very green bottle right now in front of you. Such an iconic bottle, right? I mean, in 95% of the cases, wherever you go across the world, the, the, the single malt that they would have had the first in their life would be this green bottle. Whether the bar is small or whether it's big, it has always been there. And back in 1960s, it was known as pure malt. The term from pure malt in the 70s became state malt. And today, finally, uh, we call it as single malt. Single malt basically represents single distillery and whiskey made up of only malted barley. Over to you, Luchika. We're just raising a small toast to everybody. Cheers and maybe start the evening having Cheers. fun conversations with everyone. Uh, Ajay, let me start okay. with you now that you see, you look so comfortable in your position, so cozy with a beautiful display. Ajay, you're into this very rough and tough and a grueling business of mining. Tell us what the challenges you face on a, you know, while running a business like this. It is not so conventional. When you talk about challenges every morning, every evening, and even in the middle of the night, in terms of local, local agendas, local issues, police issues, government issues, endless list of issues that keep propping up. But then you get hardened as you go deeper into the business. And then you get immune. And currently, my state is I'm immune. So it, nothing bothers me. <laughs> well, lovely. Avni, I see you there as well. And it's so heartening to see and learn that uh, so many of us women also enjoy single malts. Uh, yes, I've always been a single malt drinker, I think, for the past 15 years. I mean, until I could appreciate it. <laughs> I have the usual go-tos. I will to enjoy the 18 year old more than this. Um, I'm thanks. sure while you are an 18 year old admirer of this one, try this 12, I'm sure it's special. I, I, I drink it all the time. <laughs> I mean, it's the most popular one that's get, that gets served, Absolutely. right? Yeah. And it's the wild. Indian palate also. Thanks for having so, uh, me. Pleasures are. Thank you for joining and do take care. Angad, I'm going to come back to you because it's a very interesting that point of yours. And the more the years the whiskey is, you know, in a cask, the better it tastes or it has better value. So uh, apart from the number of years that whiskey spends in a cask, it's also the cask recipe of that particular dram that we are actually referring to. And I totally agree with the 
Avni, that trusting the palate here is actually the best decision that one can take. The number that is mentioned on the bottle, 18, 12, 15, 21, that's the minimum age that whiskey has been spending in that cask. But apart from that, finishing in them in special cask is also another very important thing. And it's not only about the age that you are drinking that whiskey for. You're pretty much drinking it for character. Today, the world is really evolving, getting a more and more younger audience to jump in and, you know, crack open a bottle of an age expression. So that was another side of whiskeys that we all learned. Another, two, like we said, Angad, we need to have many more tutorials from you. Angad, I have a question, um, a direct question, because you were talking about uh, Cadillac, um, Ask, or some other cars that are, um, that are there. Do you really um, get them from France and uh, you, you bring them in? in yeah, absolutely. Uh, not only red wine or white wine casks from France, we are getting cognac casks and a lot of champagne casks as well. Our 26-year-old known as the Grand Cru, Grand Couron, which means the crown in French, is basically aged uh, and, and, and it's finished for two years in a, in a cognac cask, uh, which is a very unusual cask. Yeah, we get the casks from different parts of the world. We, we get mezcal and tequila casks from Mexico. We get ice wine casks from US. We get Rum casks from Barbados. Uh, so many different types of casks are being brought in. For us, as Scottish whiskey makers, we have to make the entire product at, on a premise in one distillery to call it a single malt. So from grain to glass, everything happens on site and that includes aging as well. So the casks come in, we age them in their casks at the distillery. At, at the current time, between Glenfiddich and Balvini, we are aging uh, just above 2 million casks. Uh, to give you an idea about Scotland, the, the population of Scotland is somewhere around uh, 4.55 million people. And in Scotland, you're aging more than 20 million casks at the current moment. Uh, so the, 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 wow, the, the quantities we are talking are, are, are really, really big. The scale is huge. <laughs> wow. Okay. I didn't know that. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Vandana and Reshma. Interesting again to see that Bangalore women are also whiskey drinkers. I always thought Bangalore is a very gin and vodka city for women. Am I wrong there? No, you're right. Vodka is um, vodka was my drink, but um, now I'm a whiskey drinker because, like I said, the body was throwing it back, and I enjoy it. It's been now what ten years, and it just really Amazing. relaxes me. Really? I enjoy myself, but I enjoy it, and I have no qualms about it. <laughs> Yes, cheers to you. I think I think uh, definitely uh, the Women TG has been growing for single malls since last yes. two, three years. And I've really seen the education of malls being really up there in the, in the Women TG. And so cheers to you, all the ladies joining in. Yes. Uh, so, Reshma, are you, are you in, was, were you also a vodka or a gin drinker? So Ruchika, I'm, uh, you're right. I was a big gin and a tequila drinker. I like my tequila soda as well. <laughs> but if I'm sitting down for a nice dinner, then I enjoy a good single malt. So, uh, Angad, I'm just going to quickly come back to you and say that, uh, ask you uh, one simple basic question that how can we make it a little more exciting? I think the, the best way is to have your whiskey with your friends. Mm, that's why we have this evening today. To, so Bet. cheers to friends and family there and to many more such evenings. Now, from a scientific point of view, adding water to is, it is the best way so that you can open the whiskey up and get the maximum notes out of it. However, soda is good. I'm happy with all the way that people can drink their whiskey. It's, 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 it's always welcome. But I just want to share one story about me and my friend Jack. And I met Jack first time in hell. Uh, and we were being latched at, in hell. And after being latched, we sat down. And so I asked him, Jack, how did you land up in hell, brother? So he told me his story in his last life. He used to live in a town called Kentucky in the United States of America. A night he got back home quite late, super tired, poured himself a nice dram of single malt whiskey, put a couple of ice cubes in the glass, and then Jack added Coca-Cola to his single malt whiskey. The moment he added Coca-Cola, he was also in hell. <laughs> That's right. right? Uh, you killed 12, works of, 12 years of hard work of Scottish people <laughs> by adding Coca-Cola to it. That's, that's the only thing, you know, where I feel that uh, that's one way of enjoying whiskey that, uh, that I think you can go for a blended or a bourbon whiskey. Uh, rather than a single malt. But apart from that, it's something to be had fun with, nothing serious. Go on, 
and enjoy it with their friends hi angad namesake i totally agree namesake yes absolutely and it's worth by putting any drop of anything in a malt whisky be it day be it night it's just the thing I saw it the first time in my life in India that uh, some people <laughs> do uh, um, ice, ice and whiskey or something else because in single malt you don't do this. Super, Sanjeev, you're sitting very quiet. I hope you're quiet because you're savoring the food and the whiskey. Yeah, so, but uh, but thank you again, um, Ruchika uh, and uh, Nairin, for for inviting me onto this panel and and I'm enjoying and I'm enjoying seeing a lot of old faces and. And faces that I haven't connected with, um, Raju and a lot of people. It's, 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 good, it's good to see all you guys. But but um, yeah. So cheers, cheers to everybody. Cheers to every one of them. Evening. So great, great. I think uh, I am not going to take much of your time. We are thick in the middle of dinner time. We've already started a drinks a couple of uh, an hour ago. Anga, do we have to? Do you want to come in and say something before we kind of wind this up? I just want to thank everyone for joining in today. Uh, it's been an absolute pleasure, you know, being a part of this amazing uh, circle for the last three days, and uh, I I wish all of you the very best doing. the amazing things that you guys are doing being innovators designers ceos and you know uh, just keep the just keep the good drum up and uh, yes and on that uh, fa happy fabulous uh, dreamy drinky note may i say a big thank you to all of you thank you all for joining in thank you for your inputs thank you for these conversations and thanks for lighting up the bangalore chapter of hello and glenfiddich good night everyone good night to you guys thank you